In today's video, I'm gonna go over how to lose your love handles, five easy steps. First of all, who am I? My name is Max, I am a fat loss coach. I own a coaching company where we have helped over 400 people in the last few years lose weight, build muscle, and all of that fun stuff. So I have a fair bit of experience doing this. I've been coaching people one-to-one -one and online for over 10 years now, and this is what I would recommend. So first things first, when we think of love handles, we have abs, and we have obliques these love handles they tend to kind of sit here on top when you have a lot of body fat it's not a great look people are self-conscious you can see it in clothes and still to this day when i'm coaching people and writing plans people who are insecure about this area they'll say to me can you give me some ab exercises or can we do some rotation exercises because of my hips or because of my abs now we need to understand that we need to lose it. this is body fat Okay, and it needs to come off over time through training, calorie restriction, so on and so forth, which I'm gonna get into. But actual abdominal exercises, in terms of your ROI, is very, very low. Crunches, Russian twists, oblique crunches, side planks, they will work the transverse abdominus muscles around the abs, but from a calorie burning perspective, it's very, very low. You're way better off training, walking, doing cardio, and dropping down your calories, okay, which I'm gonna get into now. So with your diet, it's all about your food. It really is. I know everyone says it, and I'm not gonna give you the whole calorie deficit chat, but you just cannot lose them without it. You could be doing 3,000 crunches a day, doing everything right, but if your calories are too high and your body is not having to use fat for fuel, you will simply store more body fat. So we have to establish that deficit at some point throughout the day or throughout the week. There's so many different ways to do that. I'm not gonna tell you the best way to do it in this video, but find a way that works for you or watch one of my other 7,000 videos where I talk about calorie deficits. So we have to establish the deficit. The diet is number one. You can not exercise, not do anything, but by massively under eating, your love handles will go away. Literally, they will shrink by sitting on the couch if you just don't eat any food. Now, weight training and cardio, which one is best for losing weight? Which one is best for getting fit? Do them both. Do them both. Why do we always have to pick one or the other? I do them both and I'm able to stay lean all the time because I do both in my week. It's part of my routine. It's funny, growing up, all I ever did was train. All I ever wanted to do was lift weights, lift weights, lift weights. And I was always relatively lean, but I was never super lean like I am now. And as I've started to introduce cardio into my routine, it's, it's very, very easy for me to, to stay like this. So we want to weight train multiple times per week. In terms of what sessions to do, again, I've got so many videos on this, the best three-day plan in my link, the link in my bio, I've got the best four-day plan, everything is free. But we want to be training with weights, pushing the body three to four times a week, focusing on big compound lifts, which means working multiple muscle groups at once. Think presses, rows, squats, hip hinges, prowlers, all of this stuff, because they work multiple muscles at the same time, which means our output is higher, our energy expenditure is higher, we burn more calories. That paired with the diet, love handles gone. In terms of cardio, again, guys, this is personal preference. I like to use the cross trainer and I like to use the Stairmaster. Yesterday, I played football. I might play paddle tomorrow. It's all the same thing. Cardio is an elevated heart rate for a prolonged period of time. If you are massively overweight, and you struggle to even walk and you walk 10 minutes up the road and back for 20 minutes and your heart rate is at 130 to 140 beats per minute you are doing cardio for you if you're super fit you might have to go for a 5k run to get your heart rate up don't worry about which cardio is best but ideally, we have HIIT cardio, high intensity intervals. We have LIST cardio, low intensity, steady state. I would always lean towards low intensity, steady state as there's less risk for entry. The barrier to entry is lower. We spoke about diet, protein intake. Again, I've spoken about this a thousand times, but elevating your protein in your diet is gonna allow you to stay full. If you are full, you're probably gonna under eat. You're gonna eat less food. So protein and shortening your feeding window are just standard tips and tricks to try and reduce your overall calories. Obviously, protein has a huge role in muscle building and muscle retention, which are very important when it comes to keeping your metabolism high. But again, more on that another time. So 
But the last thing, so that's four steps. And the, the fifth step, which is the most important one of all, is patience or consistency. Maybe step five and step six. Patience and consistency. If you're massively overweight, you could have the best two weeks on plan ever. You're still going to have fat around this area. If you're somebody that's that whole, from a genetic standpoint, you're probably more prone to holding fat around this area, which means it's going to take time to come off. Stick at it. Stick at it. It takes time. If you have 30 kilos to lose and you lose 10 kilos you're still going to have love handles if you lose 15 kilos and you have 15 kilos of fat on you you're still going to have love handles but eventually they will come in and when they do come in it creates a physique we're looking for the smaller the waist looks male or female the wider the shoulders look for men the wider the hips look for women it's a great look that everybody's looking for but the reason most people don't get there is because it tends to be the last place where it comes off the lower abs the hips and people just don't have the staying power don't be that person if you like this video give it a like subscribe Thumbs up, love, comments, whatever.